Hey, welcome to Homeschool Ology. If you're new here, my name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four. I've got a seventh grader all the way down to a preschooler, and we're entering about our seventh plus years of homeschooling um, this year. We just started our new school year um, on August 1st. And so uh, today's video, I am sharing curriculum I wouldn't buy again. So this is a collaboration video with uh, hosted by Devine at Common the Chaos and Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool. Thank you to them for hosting. And of course, I will be sharing their channels down below and also that playlist so you can see all the moms sharing curriculum that just didn't work for them. are going to be about like struggles we've had with certain the way current certain curriculum was written or curriculum that just didn't fit for our family so today I'm gonna to be sharing kind of like two categories I'm gonna be sharing like curriculum that I just wouldn't buy again that I just didn't believe in and then curriculum that I think would work for some families but doesn't work for our family so let's get started. The first one I'm going to share is one that I would not recommend. I just don't love the program. Um, I don't, I see problems with it for secular family, families. They say it is non-religious, meaning like it's not written from a religious viewpoint. Um, but I feel like as it still brought up several religions, which can you discuss history without talking about religion? No, I don't think you can. But I do feel like the, these are influenced in one specific direction. And for that reason, I don't recommend these um, for secular families. Um, and it is Story of the World. So um, as you can see, we gave it a fair shot. We had book one and book two. Um, we were using Build Your Library at the time, and that was what that was recommended. And uh, History Quest from Pandia Press was not out yet when we used those. Those we used early in our homeschooling career, um, and we just didn't really enjoy them. And then on top of that, just not really enjoying them, on top of that, there was a lot of things that I felt were, even though they said it was a non-religious curriculum, I felt like it was definitely bias. Um, and so I did not enjoy that program. My daughter did not enjoy that program. And I would not recommend that program to others. So the next on my list is another history curriculum, and it is the O Freedom. And I know a lot of people say that they like this program. So I might have liked this program program if I had been using it with a high schooler, um, but I was using it with a sixth grader and a uh, second grader, and it just was, the books were very, the books were great. I would still use some of these books in our homeschool, but there was not a lot of like engaging like books for children that young. It was a lot of like chapter books that were read aloud, not a lot of pictures, not a lot of, and we just really couldn't get into it. We tried it for a few weeks. Um, and also I, there weren't like, so the activities are like more just like discuss and reflect this thing, discuss and reflect that thing and watch some videos. There weren't any really like hands-on like you know, problem solving things, which is what our family tends to gravitate towards. So I would not be buying, um, I would not buy this again, uh, this O Freedom. I would not buy it again. I don't necessarily think it's a problematic program at all. I think it, it's probably great and it probably works well for some people. It's just not the way we learn in our household. So um, for me personally, I would not buy this one again. Uh, the next one on my list is uh, moving beyond the page. So we only tried this for a short period of time and it's been a long while. Um, but this program to me felt very classroom, public school, um, too much like school at home. And that is just not how our family operates. It wasn't that it was necessarily like a problematic program or things, which I didn't use it very long. So I don't, I don't know like exactly, but it just felt very book work, very like surface, not going too deep into things. Um, just not really our cup of tea, just not really what I would have 
and what, what our family would enjoy. And um, it's not necessarily one that I would recommend to homeschoolers. I feel like it's a little, unless, unless your homeschool is one that really enjoys that kind of like school at home approach. Because that's what it felt like to me was like school at home. And that's just not what we were looking for in our homeschool. So that is another one that I would not buy again. Moving on to the math realm. So the first one here that I would not buy again, and we did use it for many years and I did try it with two children, but uh, this one is teaching textbooks. I There are many things about teaching textbooks that I like. I like that it was online. Um, and so everything was done for me, like the lessons, the questions, everything was, I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to print worksheets or I didn't have to do anything for this curriculum. It was very hands off. They even graded it for me. So I, it, that part of it, I did enjoy. The lessons were okay, um, but sometimes my kiddos would still need explanation. Like they did, they weren't very, you know, thorough I guess is what I'm looking for and it moves very slowly like very slowly and it kept asking the same questions over and over and over again and there was no way to go in and say my child understands this concept we don't need to keep asking them about it um, and so for those reasons I would not use it again in our homeschool um, it just was too slow no way to customize it and I think uh, you know part of why we homeschool is because we can customize things to fit our child children's needs and there was no way to customize that it's kind of like a this is what it is this is what you got there's no way to change it so I didn't love that so we won't be using teaching textbooks again and our homeschool for some people families it works great but for our family it was a no-go so the next one on my list I'm reluctant to put on this uh, list because I am not 100% sure that I will never buy it again. I don't dislike this program. I do think this is a quality program. This falls into that it didn't work for our family category. This is why it didn't work for our family. We found it far too challenging. Um, we found it to be... The beginning of the lesson would be fine. We were getting it, things were going good, and then they would throw in this like more complex component of that part of the lesson, and that was just too hard. Um, and so we were having a lot of frustration with it. So do I dislike this program? No, I don't dislike this program. Um, will I ever buy it again? I don't plan to. I don't have any intention to. But I am keeping it in my back pocket because I don't know what my, the rest of my children will be like and if this might be a good fit for them. I know it's a good fit for many. Um, we uh, have only had experience with the actual physical books, um, but there is an online program now and the program I'm talking about is Beast Academy. So I am sharing my information solely on using the um, no, you know, the physical books. We did do the trial of the um, online program and my daughter still, you know, wasn't really feeling it. So we never like actually signed up for it. So we've tried the trial program, but this just doesn't work for our family. It just isn't a good fit. But I do love the comic book style, um, you know, graphic novel style instruction books. I keep going the wrong way, sorry. <laughs> So I do love these. I think they're great. I think this is a very novel approach to learning math. So I do like this. I think it is too challenging. Ways you could combat that is by like, instead of if you're a child who's in third grade, not do level three, do level two. You know, like by going a little further back into it, you could combat the difficulty level or skipping, pro you know, skipping those more challenging problems is a way that you could still use this program um, and make it work for you. But do I do not have intentions of buying Beast Academy for my family unless, you know, if I'm keeping it, I'm not getting rid of these, I'm keeping it in my back pocket to try out someday um, if I need to. But I find Beast Academy to be too rigorous, too, not rigorous, too challenging. The, the concepts, I feel like they introduce the concepts before a child's brain is ready for those concepts, if that makes sense. So that ends my math category. Moving on to the language arts category. So this one might be surprising to you too. This is a very well-known program. I do not see anything wrong with this program. I think this is a good program. It was not a good fit for our family and I'm sad to say it, but that is all about uh, the learning, both reading and spelling. We've tried um, levels uh, the pre 
level and level one of the all about reading and we've tried level two for all about spelling um it's not that they're bad programs and it's not I, the spelling one actually even worked for my daughter in the sense that she was learning things she was just bored um just she was just bored, plain and simple, with the All About Spelling. She was bored. She did not like it. Um, all About Reading, it just was a struggle for us. I can't really pinpoint exactly what the struggle was, but it just, I've used it with two of my kiddos, and both of them struggled with liking it. They just didn't like it. Um, and so, now, granted, they both don't like language arts in general. However, we've found new pieces of curriculum that they seem to enjoy a lot more than they enjoyed all about um, reading. And so I will not be purchasing that again for our family. I did keep level one just in case. I had two more kiddos. All kiddos learn differently. But I, it's not going to be my go-to. It's going to be my last resort, um, the last thing that I try. Uh, and I just don't... I don't, there's nothing wrong with it. It just didn't fit for our family. We found more engaging programs that we enjoy doing more. So I think that is all that I have on my list of curriculum that we wouldn't buy again. Um, again, these are not curriculum, necessarily curriculum that I dislike. There are a few that I don't like, um, but most of them are just ones that didn't work for our family. I'm not saying they might, they might work great for you family. They just don't work for our family who enjoys like learning through literature, doing engaging activities, just being, you know, do, using our problem solving mind and brain. Um, and these curriculums that I've talked about just didn't meet those qualifications. And yeah, so thank you again to Devine from Calm in the Chaos and Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool for hosting today's collaboration. Don't forget to head on and check down to the description box and check out their channels and check click on that playlist so you can see all the other moms who are sharing curriculum that didn't work for them. And I think these videos are helpful because they help us see, you know, what if a family is like-minded or a family seems like ours, we know that these curriculums maybe not are not the right ones to check out. But if a family is opposite of what we feel like they are. The curriculum that doesn't work for them might work for us. So I think it's really great to see these, you know, these opinions on all these different curriculums from all these different moms. So make sure you're checking out that playlist so you can see what everybody likes and what everybody doesn't like and make a decision based on that, you know, who you most um, relate to. And I think that is all I have for you guys today. And I will talk to you guys again real soon. Bye.